Book Club episode 14. 14 of Book Talk. I'm Christine, and today we're talking about the third book in the Vampire Academy series, and it is called Shadow Kiss by Rachel Mead. Okay, so this book opens up with this description. His fingers slid along my back, applying hardly any pressure yet, saying shock waves over my, over my flesh. Okay, so immediately I'm like, oh my god. Is Dimitri, like, with her right now? Or is she dreaming? Or what's going on? But then I realized she'd been sucked into Lisa's head, and Lisa's, like, about to have sex with Christian, which is so weird that she's, like, there with her, like, experiencing the same thing. It's just, like, creepy. And she can't get out at first. And she's like, oh, my God, get me out of here. Too much information. And she's, like, asleep, so it's even harder to control it. Oh, my God, I felt so bad for her. And Lisa, that's, like, so awkward if she ever found out. And she does find out. In this book, she keeps seeing Mason. He just keeps popping up as a ghost around. And, like, what did you think was going on? Did you think it was real? She was just having hallucinations? Because she thinks she's just having hallucinations, you know? I didn't think she was. I thought it was part of her shadow kissness that she could see, like, maybe people she saw die in front of her. They're getting ready for this six-week testing period where all the guardians get assigned a Maroi that they're supposed to guard as, like, a test trial for the next six weeks so they don't have classes anymore they just have these guarding trial things and of course like Rose is all like obviously I'm getting Lisa this is gonna be so much fun six weeks just me and Lisa and me D it's just gonna be a breeze like I'm already like I already guard her I've already killed two Strigoi I'm awesome of course it's like we know she's not gonna get Lisa because what it's just too easy she just said she, she's just going on and on about it, you know? And Eddie's like, oh, I hope I get someone good. And I'm like, oh my god, Eddie's gonna get Lisa. And of course, Eddie gets Lisa, and I'm like, oh my god, Rose is gonna get Christian. And Rose gets Christian. And it's like, Rose is like, I can't believe this! You didn't give me Lisa! And blah blah. I'm like, Rose, calm down, please. This does not mean you're not gonna get Lisa in real life. It's like having a hissy fit, and it's just gonna get you in more trouble. And Demetrius just standing there being like, Rose, be happy. Just stop. Just stop right now. Stop right now. Thank you very much. Oh, she's like, okay, fine, whatever. Like, why can't she just think about that for a second? Because if you're guarding Christian, you're basically with Lisa all the time. Because Christian is going out with Lisa, and they've been, like, inseparable recently. And it's just dumb that you're making such a big deal out of this. Because it's just a test period. It has nothing to do. They want to see if you can guard someone as good as you can guard Lisa. Because Lisa is, like, cheating. But you, you know when she's in danger. <sighs> Randomly throughout the book, we get, like, these splotches of, like, of, what is this look for? It looks like I have, like, ninja arms or something. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. Royals are getting beat up, kind of-ish. They come back bruised and stuff. Rose is, like, kind of trying to figure out what's going on. And we find out they have this group called Mana Royal Club. They practice using compulsion so they can get whatever they want and stuff like that. It's very, very snobby. And they have all these trials are going on. All the guardians pretend to be Strigoi. Do these fake attacks because to make sure the novices can actually defend the more that they're protecting. Rose has seen some people get their first tests and though she's like, oh my god, they're so dumb. Like they're doing it all wrong. So like it's not all wrong, but you know, they mess up and stuff like that. It comes Rose's time. She's like, yes, my first train, I could prove myself because I'm so awesome. Stan goes to attack Christian and she and then of course Mason just shows up right there and Mason's like pointing to something and we know Mason's trying to tell her something but she can't figure it out yet neither could I else she keeps just like pointing and like looking at her and she just freezes and stares and I'm like oh Rose no just keep going like you see him and he hasn't done anything I know it's scary come on just go they think that she purposely she gets called to the principal's office because they think that she purposely did not defend Christian and would have let him get killed because she's mad about not being assigned to Lisa. And so they're stupid temper. She says all these dumb things. Are you serious? You really think she would do that? And of course, Dimitri has to defend her again and be like, why? What happened? And she doesn't tell him. Just spit it out. You want hot chocolate and he's being so nice to her. She does not say that she's seeing ghosts. And I know you don't want to say. I think he's going to think you're crazy, but he loves you and he'll try to work this out. He won't try to like think you're be like oh Rose is crazy I don't want to hang out with her anymore like how cool is that that Adrian can walk dreams I didn't I didn't in my other my last thing I forgot totally to talk about Adrian which someone reminded me I really like Adrian I think he's really funny and awesome go into your dreams and talk to you and stuff like that and he's trying to teach Lisa but at least he's not picking it up he's trying to teach him how to heal things and he is picking it up slowly and he does eventually get he could heal like small scratches and stuff he can't like raise the dead like Lisa can 
But you know what? It's a step forward. And he sees auras and stuff like that. The effects from Lisa's using spirit, those are these dark temper feelings, like extreme emotions afterwards. Makes her like really uncontrollably angry and she like can't stop being angry. Rose has been absorbing that through the bond, like she not knowingly. So she's been having these temper tantrums and Lisa hasn't been as angry all the time because it's been going to Rose. And that's why Rose has been having these like outbursts and when I was reading this book, like, I was so preoccupied with it that I, like, did not take my little sticky notes on it. I don't know if I've explained that to you yet, but when I'm reading on my iPad, I can, like, make a note, like, as I'm reading so I don't forget, like, that I want to say something about this. But in this one, I totally am so into it that I didn't even do that. I'm swinging it here and trying to remember everything because I just finished book five and it's like, what happened in the third one again? Towards the end, Lisa gets captured. Lisa's getting tortured by... The royals and their little club thing because this is the initiation into the club like they torture her until it compels them to stop to and if she can compel anyone then she gets into the clubs to be able to compel people which is ridiculous i just i was like what the, the sick kids like what sick kids they, they take turns like using earth to scratch her up and then suffocating her with water and suffocating her with air and burn her with the fire. It's just ridiculous. Lisa starts spirit anger has bubbled through her and she like cannot control the fury and fear like going through her. So she like starts like making Jesse hallucinate. She wouldn't stop, so Rose has to like absorb the fury. What do you think of this whole absorbing thing? Like, I don't know. I don't know what I think about it. So Rose just keeps absorbing this and getting crazier and crazier. So Rose just gets crazy and Lisa doesn't. I think that's kind of selfish. I don't want Rose absorbing it. But immediately, Lisa stops torturing Jesse. But Rose is like, I want to kill him. Like, kill. Like, she doesn't say, like, I want to beat him up and, like, get at him. She, like, wants to kill him. So Dimitri takes her to this cabin. He's, like, freaking out. And Dimitri's like, stop. You, this isn't you. And... He gets her to fight the fury and bury it and get away and put it away. And then they give way to their like whole chemistry and they have sex finally. She's like all happy about like ways that they could be together because before they were all, we can't be together because we're both going to be guarding Lisa and we'll care more about each other than guarding her. But he's like, I'm going to ask to be reassigned so they could like take time off together because if they were both working with Lisa, they wouldn't be off together because when he's off, she won't be off because they're partnering. Now they can be together and it's just so sweet and it's like, oh, finally, Dimitri and Rose, they're going to have a happy ending. And then they leave the cabin and Shigoro attacks. And Rose learns that she has this like ability to sense them like she gets nauseous around them which I think is so cool like she's an alarm system embedded in herself on the plane like Rose gets very very bad headache and she's like what did you think was going on I thought it was something with a shadow kissness I didn't think it was a normal like headache but like oh my god like on the way back all these ghosts appear and she starts screaming so creepy like, the whole Lisa's family dead ghosts whoa Dimitri has to fight off all these millions to going while Rose is running to tell them that all these Strigoi are breaking into the campus, which is so scary because I thought, I seriously thought Dimitri was going down there. I was so nervous because someone had tweeted me and it was like, it's going to be heartbreaking. And I was like, heartbreaking? What does that mean? Like, the only thing I can think of heartbreaking is that Dimitri dies. And I was like, oh my god, Dimitri's going to die. I can't believe this. I'm, I was freaking out. After the Guardians go and start fighting the Strigoi, she, she has to go find Christian because Christian was left alone and Lisa's all worried about him. And... Rose is supposed to be guarding Christian, and oh my god, I was so nervous. I was, <laughs> Rose meets Christian, and these Shikoi attack them, and Rose is about to die. She takes one of them, but the other one's like on top of her and is about to kill her, and then Christian sets him on fire, and it's just badass. Then they go on this killing spree, and they're just like killing so many Shikoi. They kill the most Shikoi out of everyone there. Christian sets them on fire, and then Rose just stinks them, and they go into the next one. They're so badass. Like the dream team. We see Dimitri, and it's like, okay, good. And Dimitri's okay. We learn that they've taken like 13 hostages with them, and Eddie is one of them. And I seriously, I thought Eddie was dead. Did you think he was going to be dead? I seriously thought he was a goner. Plan this rescue mission. Mason the ghost tells her where they are and everything, which was like, whoa. Like, he just knows this stuff, and I guess that's why he was... He wasn't at peace. Just a whole big nerve-wracking thing again because they have to go through this, they have to go to this cave where all the Strigoi are heading out. Two sides to the cave. Rose is positioned outside and everyone else goes in that we care about. 
One by one, these hostages are coming out. Eddie has not been one of them, but he could have gone out the other side because Rose is stationed at one side. It's just so stressful. Like, I was so stressed out. They kick ass in there. Then Rose has to go in because they're having some technical difficulties because, like, part of the cave collapse. She goes in. Dimitri's in the collapse part. I'm like, oh my god, this is it. He's gonna die. I'm so nervous. But he does it. They all get out again. And I'm like, oh, god, thank god. So Eddie apparently got out the other side, so we learned that. We're relaxed. And we keep going. They're about to leave the cave. More sure. Just hop out of nowhere. And it's like, everything's chaos. I could not even understand really what was going on because there were so many, like, different descriptions of one side and the other side. And it was like, who's on what side? What's going on? And then we see, we're about to get out and Dimitri gets taken down by Sir And I was like, no, this isn't happening. And he, like, bites him. And we don't see anything else. They're, like, dragging Rose out of there. They're like, we gotta get out of here. The sun's going down. Blah, 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 blah. And they leave. And they just leave Dimitri there. And I'm like, oh my god. I can't believe this. He can't be dead. He can't be dead. He, he's awesome. He must have gotten away from this. Somehow, it's not happening. It's only the third book. How can he be dead? The next day they go back for the bodies. She keeps waiting for the body to come by with Dimitri on it. And he's not coming. She's flipping her shit. She goes to see Lisa. This was heartbreaking. I seriously, I started, like, I started crying. And she's talking to Lisa. And she's like, you have to do, you have to bring him back. You have to bring him you can bring him back, you can fix this, I can't, I, I'm, and she, cause Rose is like going through like an emotional breakdown, she's like, I can't believe this, Dimitri's gone, blah, 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 she's like, I can't do that, Rose, I can't, I can't do that, and Rose is like, you wouldn't do this after everything I've done for you, like, you can't do this for me, and she's like, I was just, I just started bawling, I was like, you can't do this for her after everything she's done for you, are you kidding me? Lisa says no, and I'm like, how dare you say no, how dare you say no to Rose? Give me to the body, he doesn't come back. They don't even find his body. And I can't, I can't believe this, but I, I mean, I actually thought about this during the second book. She foreshadowed it. It left my mind totally. Dimitri's Strigoi. I was so mad. And they talked about, it. he's like, if I were Strigoi, I'd want you to be killed. And if you were Strigoi, wouldn't you want someone to, us to kill you and release you from that, like, horrible state? And she's like, yes, I would. Rose and Dimitri both said that. And I was like, why are they talking about this? Someone going to be Strigoi? Like, is something going to happen? But I totally just disregarded it. Or maybe they said it even in the first book. The book leaves off with Rose leaving to kill the man that she loved. She drops out of school the day she turns 18. What a fun birthday, right? I started crying again. Next book, Jesus Christ like so stressful so that's it for today what did you think about the book what stressed you out what made you cry i is your who's your, is your favorite character still the same favorite characters kind of like lisa before this but she pissed me off and now she really pissed me off but would you have done the same thing that she did like cause i would have offered to go with rose basically i think i would have gone with her i thought maybe her mom was gonna die because they said it was heartbreaking that one person who tweeted me because i was like oh to me she's fine okay her mom might not come out of this. I was like, who is going to die? And I thought it was going to be her mom because I just did not want it to be Dimitri. And so anyway, I know I've had like 50 million book talks come out so fast one after the other because I just, I recorded that one a little while ago. Finally edited it. And I have a little bit of time before I have more projects that I'm going to be having to do for school that's going to take up my free time during the day. I'm trying to get all these out there and while well, it's still fresh in my mind. I just finished the last one that's out so far and fourth one will be coming soon. Thank you for watching. You're awesome. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash xteenmay. Got us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Productions with a Z. Did you hear that they're cast, they cast a Maggie Grace from Lost? That's Shannon from Lost as Irina. You're awesome. I will see you next time. Peace out. Leave me a comment, please. Thank you.